I'm not sure if people are realizing this, but the new Opdulity that is replacing the Opdoodlelore, its float is capped at 0.7, meaning you cannot get one with a higher float than that. But the Opdoodlelore though, while it was still in the game, it had a float cap of 0.8. On CSGO float, if you sort all Duality skins in the world by highest float, there is a ton that go way over the new float cap. I guess because the Doodlelore was just swapped out of people's inventories, this did happen. But what will Valve do about it? Before I get into it, let me give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is hands down one of the best bot trading sites you can use with CSGO skins right now. Say you want to upgrade some of your current skins, this would be the perfect site to do that with. You can also straight up buy skins too, and with their 35% deposit bonus plus my code, it gives anyone quite a nice balance to work with. There's even free giveaways and rewards for completing simple tasks on the site to help you get even more skins. Get $5 for free now with my link in the description below. Now if you're confused, the reason there are skins that go above the current float cap is because when Valve dropped this update yesterday, they just decided to swap out all Doodalore skins with the Duality. Now obviously, because the Doodalore has a float cap 0.10 higher than the Duality, this means that any Doodalore skins unboxed with a higher float changed over. They didn't get removed or deleted. A lot of people thought they might become contraband skins as well, but that didn't happen either. And let's be real, we most likely will never see another one of those because Valve doesn't want to encourage copyright infringement. Now, skins getting removed from the game because of copyright issues, it has happened before. Of course, you have the Howl, but then you also have the M4A4 Griffin. Instead of swapping the skin with an entirely different one though, they just redesigned it and re-added it to the game. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of expecting them to do this, but I guess Valve went with a swap this time. Maybe because they're lazy and they don't care, but there could be something else that they're working on behind the scenes that's taking up all of their resources currently. Thanks to Gabe Follower, we do know that Source 2 is still making a lot of progress behind the scenes, but I'm still not sure why they just didn't pick a skin with the same float cap, because now they have this issue they have to deal with. Apparently, Aquarius on Twitter reached out to the official CSGO page asking about the issue, and believe it or not, they actually did respond acknowledging the issue. Now, the screenshot that I'm showing is all we know that they sent. At the time I'm recording this, there is no official information on what's going to happen to these quote unquote one of one skins, but I really do highly doubt they will become contraband. We could see Valve straight up delete them from the game and just refund the players who that happens to, but they also could do something unique with these, which I think would be really cool. I don't know. Comment what you think below. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Other than that, if you did make it this far, of course, drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.